Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Eden for Syscon TV here at 12th Cloud Expo. You can see in back of me, Cloud Expo, New York. And to my right, Robert Miggins. Hello, Robert. Hi, Jeremy. How are you? Senior VP of Business Development at Pier 1 Hosting. And Pier 1, one of my favorite names always. How are you doing back there? We're doing great. Yeah, we're doing great. Business is good. Cloud is growing. And, uh, yeah. We do what we can for you, Robert. You know, personally, on Cloud Expo? It's real. It's really happening, yes. Yeah. 2013, any characteristics do you think, you know, staying at this high level, about what we're seeing in the cloud? What are you finding as a vendor? Yeah, great question. Um, we just uh, we have just recently launched a new product called Mission Critical Cloud, which is a VMware-based public cloud solution. And back to your question, the reason why we did that is because we're seeing more and more demand uh, to outsource and to outsource in a cloud fashion from larger enterprises. And no oxymoron there, mission critical, but public. How do you deal with that one? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, that's the great question because it gives us a chance to actually talk about how secure our cloud is, how disaster recovery is built in, how things like blueprinting allow you to replicate your environment uh, very, very easily. So we actually enjoy uh, those questions about security because it's very, very secure, enterprise grade. Um, and, and I guess my point is um, we are seeing larger companies coming our way um, and seeking cloud solutions. So we needed to have a, an enterprise class cloud solution, you know, to to, uh, to suit those larger companies. So you can validate then, Robert, you know, from your perspective, you, you're, you're serving your customers. These are presumably peer one existing customers saying, guys, this is now what we need. You know, come on, we need to have this ability to, to uh, spike and to do all the different things without any worries about security. So they've kind of come with you. Well, there's two things. I mean, we're, we're obviously we're. I think it's obvious to think that current customers are asking for more from us, but they're more likely to ask for it in a cloud fashion. But then, in, at the same time, we're also seeing large companies that we previously haven't sold to, finally deciding to outsource and finally deciding to embrace the cloud. So it's actually sort of new clients on the higher end, and uh, you know, as well as the current customers who are upgrading to the cloud. Now, here's a classic chance to you can just pitch away because I'm asking, I'm insisting. So they're about to make that decision yeah. and they're coming to Pier 1. Right. So what is it that's resonating with them that says, if we're going to the cloud, we're coming to these guys? Oh, great, man, that was so easy. You just laid it up for me. Um, no, truthfully, it's about choice for us. So the one word for us around cloud is choice. So we provide choices for customers in terms of if you want a lower priced do-it-yourself public cloud option, we have that. We also have a more enterprise class, mission critical, sort of higher touch, more robust cloud solution. So we try to give customers lots of choices and then allow them to, to make the, the choice that's best for their business. And the VMware link, that that's a historical one or that's based on, again, based on demand? Uh, it's it's based on, it's both really. I mean, again, we have choices. We have a VMware public cloud, we have a Zen-based public cloud. But the VMware, the reason why we're in the VMware space as well is because we've been selling VMware private cloud solutions for three or four years very successfully. Those customers have been asking for the ability to burst into a public cloud solution also on a VMware-based hypervisor. So we're responding to the market by it. And how do you guys expand? What's the physics of it? Do you have to buy new data centers to cope with this growth? Or is it a question of using software to define everything? Uh, it's it's it, no no di new data centers. We have uh, we have 19 data centers worldwide anyway. So it's a matter of just finding the the, uh, the space within our current data centers to build out cloud infrastructure, and then it's a combination of software and hardware that we put together and we wrap it in an excellent service offering and. Um, it makes it sound very easy, but fundamentally that's how it comes together. Well, the best way I presume to find out is to go to peer1.com That's right. and start there. Start there, yeah. Perfect. Invitation from Robert Miggins, Senior VP of Business Development of Peer One Hosting. Go do it. Thanks, Robert. Thanks very much. And thank you for joining us out there on the World Wide Web.